subscribe and join the Hoho family. So we know the gender and we are having a baby boy. Currently out for a walk but I'm sitting down for a bit because baby has been uncooperative yet again and baby is like lying like face down this time. So a lot of the organs, particularly the heart, cannot really be seen clearly. So I have to go for a walk and come back again and we'll take more scans but we already know the gender so I had a strong feeling that it was going to be a boy because I think God gave me the name Zayn so it stuck very strongly with me even though like I had a lot of um, morning sickness and all which always till stay points to a girl but I had a feeling it's gonna be a boy so yeah! Are you happy? Yeah! Baby Zayn! Guys! Second round of walking! <laughs> Baby Zayn! Why? Back at home and I just want to spend some time to talk about the scan. The whole process took about an hour and a half at least which is way longer than the first trimester scan and I'm pretty sure the sonographer couldn't get the um, good pictures that she wanted so she really had to make do um, with what she has. So this time baby was actually lying face down and you could only see the spine as well as um, the genitals and so we got that out pretty fast. The, the bad thing is like the things about the chest, the heart, all this, um, it was difficult for the sonographer to see. So um, despite shaking my belly, asking me to roll to the side, going for two walks, eating, me dancing, me shaking and stuff, baby still wasn't very cooperative and we didn't manage to get the ideal pictures. Uh, but we do have a decent um, picture for the guy to see and so far um, things seems alright. Uh, baby is actually measuring bigger. I don't know how much bigger but according to the gestational age um, chart, baby is actually on the high, very high percentile for the head, the abdominal circumference and the femur length. So um, the gynae says that she probably has to continue to monitor and uh, I hope there's not going to be like any issue or early delivery. Um, that's one thing. And the second thing is that we'll be going for a 28 weeks growth scan. So this scan is not, um, is usually not offered unless there is something amiss. And for our case, uh, it was offered because um, baby's heart, the left ventricle, we saw about two, um, they call it echogenic foci or something like that. Um, yeah, and then it was highlighted to the doctor, but the doctor says uh, she's not worried because it's a very common variant. So she says I uh, just need to monitor, but she's not concerned. And I did a uh, googling as well. So Google also said like it's either gonna resolve by the third trimester, um, or even if it stays, it's just gonna be harmless. Doesn't affect the health of the baby. So when I heard that, I feel a bit more relieved because I was very worried like suddenly the lady at the counter, um, the one who books appointment for me tells me like I need to 
go for a 28 week growth scan and then I look at the form and then it says um, two echo uh for size sin in the left ventricle. Yeah, so that was quite scary. Um, but I'm glad it seems all right. So I hope that baby continues to do well, and uh, I'll update you guys along the way as well. I can't believe we are already halfway there, and a blink of an eye will be also reaching the end, and baby will be born soon. So yeah, that's the updates for today. We're going to get baby item today. We're going to get. Uh, stroller right now. I'm having my eyes on the retex one, so we're going to the showroom to pick it up. It's really hot. My goodness. Oh, I think this one, yes. Yes, yeah. I think it's this one. So tiring, what a long, long day.